So, number one, we need to go to the grain market. We have tons of stuff to sell. Don't want to sell the corpses stuff. I think we might start for something. I don't exactly remember what, but we're in no rush. We don't exactly need to sell the. This we want to save because I don't want to make more uh, chitin plating. Oh my god, we are swimming in Illyrium alloys. That is so good. Weapon fragments we will need more of. However, we have plenty of random stuff to sell. Like alien entertainment. Bizarre device that causes entertainment for the aliens. And food. Because, wow, gross. They eat humans. Among other things. Uh, stasis tank we can also sell. Got that from the ship. Um, alien surgery. Also sell. And the damaged ones. We're definitely not selling the power source and flight computers. So it's going to be very useful. And we can sell a bunch of old exalt weapons, but eh. The latest contact turned out to be a dud. Probably just another drunk pilot who fell asleep on a long haul. Keep me posted, Bradford. I mean, this could be useful if we need. Ah, oh, we need one or two more. One or two more. I'll keep them around just in case. Alright, so 352, we are now at 400, which would be a good time to go into Covert Op and do a scan. Um, you don't actually... I thought the way it worked is you scanned individual nations, but you don't. You just do a scan for cells. Things are heating up out there. We're tracking multiple unidentified targets. See, normally I would make this a scan for Germany because this has a bit of panic, but it's actually worldwide. Can I say, so to say worldwide for press? No, yeah, there we go. 50 credits, so... Intel scan complete. Positive ID on Exalt cell locations. We've got something in Canada again. Alright, well... Time to send... Oh, yeah. You might recognize this fellow. Um, this is not how he looks, but it doesn't matter because he's normally wearing a helmet. Um, but we're going to send Ice, of course, because she is ready with this. She's got the gunslinger, and she's got the... Laser pistol, I guess that unequipped last time. And some other good stuff. Reaper rounds doesn't work with that one. I'm gonna give her a scope and possibly just some health. Some health would be nice just so she doesn't die. The other alternative would be like a med kit. No, that doesn't need that oh wow, that doesn't work at all. All I can think about is my bunk. Wanna go to sleep, Bradford? Relax. Yeah, that doesn't actually work. That need, I guess she needs her armor to get that, so... We're gonna give her a of med, because she can heal himself, or herself, sorry. And a scope, just so she should hit pretty much every shot. Alright. Sound operative and mission. XCOM operative deployed against Exalt position in Canada. Canada. We're 350. We can probably afford... Ah, oh, we got this coming. We've got this coming. We need to build the... In three days, we'll finish building a power generator. We got the satellites coming in a while. I would actually tell you what I'd like. I'd like some... It's tempting by shifts, but... Where are the upgraded shifts? Is that later on? A shift laser. I don't know. Shivs are good and kind of cool, but ooh, mm, this this we're gonna get. Yes, hell yes. Upgraded arc thrower. You got it. That is important. Alien grenades could be cool. Pretty expensive though in terms of stuff. Maybe not. Ooh. Hmm. Man, you run into hard choices all the time here. I'm not gonna go with this one for now. I'm gonna stick with... I'll save the money. I'll make sure production begins immediately. And as soon as we've got something, I'll be in touch. Because I had m my plans on turning Shin into a soldier. Um... But I could, because he's heavy, he's going to get the shock absorbent armor. Um, or no, so not heavy. Um, assault. And I think we're going to do that. Once the required Three amputations days. have been completed, 
The engineering team will begin grafting the cybersuit interfaces onto the volunteer's remaining bone structure. And I'm gonna build a new mech for him. Uh, I'm afraid I cannot. I need to upgrade the runner, but we were gonna get the punch module. And then can we upgrade this one as well? We just about can. I'm gonna put restorative mist on this one. But now, we're down to zero meld, but we should have Shin finished into a mech suit in three days. Let's see if something happens before that. Excavation complete. No. Good, 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 good. Um, then all we need to do is find him. Collateral damage, lovely. And equip him with a Mech 2 the Sentinel mech suit. To deploy a large spray of restorative nanobots of the same type we use in the medikit. However, its imprecision precludes it from stabilizing critically wounded soldiers. That's cool, that's fine. And, oh, we need another railgun. Build by railgun. That's expensive, but good. Where you at? Homeboy, there you are. Sorted. Right, we've got two mechs now. Which is hopefully is going to end up pretty well. I'm happy with what we're rolling with now, so let's roll the time. We've got skeleton suit research finished. Which is nice for snipers mostly. And how expensive it is, though. Get hyperwave. Not yet. Um, a lot of plasma stuff. A lot of stuff. Um, what to start with? Plasma pistol, I don't care too much about. We should be able to get plenty of those by... Well, what we need to research before we can use it, but... We can get a bunch of them. And I, this is tempting as well. Because it's better. This is for the interceptors. Which is nice and everything, but eventually we're gonna get a fire, uh, this one instead, the firestorm. I'm gonna go for the pistol, I think. Let's see how that works out. Covert operation happening in two days. Contact oh, detected. UFO. Landed UFO. A large scout UFO. Let's go. Right, let's not bring all our kernels. Instead, we're gonna start with bringing the mechs. Boom. Um, now let's see. And Lewis, I think. Ah, uh, it's two supports though, it might not be that useful. We do need to bring... I, mean, I wanna bring... Sony and Kim. Gonna clear out Lewis and replace Lewis with. I still want at least one heavy. So I'm remembering Simon. How are we for the loadout? Do Carapace, Scatter Laser, Arc Thrower, good. And you've got. Carapace, Light Plasma, Laser Pistol, Respirator, Med Kits, good. You have pretty much what you're gonna have. Got grenades for you, which is lovely. And wonder if we can skip the scope for you. Get you. Nah, that's still pretty nice to have. Let's roll with this. I'm pretty sure everyone's got what they need. Yeah, they do. Strike one. The next deployment site is in the UK. The alien craft set down in a remote area. Securing the site is our top priority. As always, we should eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area.
Now, what makes this a little bit difficult? Oh, landing right near the UFO craft. That's quite handy. Or looked like we did. I think I've seen this map before. This is a bit of a creep forward. I had a, a very little full cover. But our max don't care. At all. I read you, Big Sky. This was a landing, not a crash. So expect heavy resistance. Especially since they can make full cover. Now, because Shin has the punch thing, rather than flamethrower, he has a lot of extra movement, which is pretty nice. Now he of course has to sprint, or he will have the sprint eventually, I don't know, maybe he's gonna have it. Which is pretty good. Position confirmed. Ah, it's lovely to see them with lasers. You're gonna run and gun, because why the hell not? Going in for the kill. Let's do this. I do like to go ahead and see a little bit further. Looking at the map, we don't exactly know where they're gonna end up being. They might be further to the Oh, well, there's definitely something here. So this is where we'll be moving. Um, full cover in here. It's, it's awesome. Ah, oh, we're watch as well, might as well. Now, I wonder where the meld is. About to find out. Okay, again. Just walk. One for all is so good. However, we do lose out on the jump jet boots thing if we don't have them. We can go quite far. Full cover. Double time. I'm on it, Commander. Concealed. The beauty of being concealed is when you run, if you discover them while concealed, I they don't Commander. discover you. So they don't get that little extra bit turn in the beginning. Pretty sweet. Ah, over there. Sort of a habit. Okay, we'll move ahead of quite a bit with Chen there. Nothing. Moving. A little bit of a slow start. It tends to be sometimes in missions like this where I don't land right on them. This. Makes it feel so much safer when you can dash and still stay hidden. Invisibility. Meld over here, alright. That's something to know. Stepping off. Visual on the goods. There we go. Cyber disc. And she can squad side all the way here. Can she? She can. Oh my god. Okay, can you hit no, there's only one of those. Ass. See this is where snap sight would be amazing. But squad sight is so good too. Alright, see if Sips can get into range here. No. Well, let's just one for all with you then. Maybe you launch a grenade?
Why do you... S it keeps... Oh, maybe I'm just pressing the wrong buttons. No, it's just, it's just too far, I guess. Stop moving back. Why do you keep... Controls are weird. I oh, know, I don't. Just oh, watch. It keeps moving back for some reason. All right. Well, Shin can go here. Get some good. He can take quite a couple of hits. So, oh, floaters, lovely. I believe you missed that. Man, they have crap range when they come from being heavies. Yeah, it's not a lot of good hits. You can take that one out, I suppose. Up to two damage, no crit. Just take out the one that you have a high percent chance of hitting. Can Niles go and still shoot? It's full cover behind there. Well, no, it is actually isn't because of the little hill thing. Well, that's fairly annoying. It's full cover here, though. And you should be able to get at least some shots off. Well, not amazing. That guy's fully covered. That guy's half cover. I do want to take out these drones because they can. Oh, nice. They can heal. Here we go. We get some. Give you some heat ammo. Finally, they can heal. You're really far away. How far does your rocket go? Oh, that was close. No, not far enough. Okay, you, you keep doing that. You keep switching. Yeah, that's way too far. Question is, if I dash with them or just run? I mean, if I well take one step or. Or no, I don't think he's going to be in range either way. So I might be able to just Stepping run there. Off. He should be in range next turn. They're starting to lose ground. Overwatch? I swear they didn't use Overwatch this much before. Whoa, that did a lot of damage. Uh, Shin, you're not very tanky yet. You should be careful. Shin, you're not very good at this. You're, you're not very good at this at all. Alright. Maybe a little bit of... A little bit my fault. I knew that was coming, but I had to, to stabilize him. Or vibe, in fact. <laughs> Christ. Alright, well. Let's explode some people. Ah, shot is blocked. That's not good. On my way. Sixty-five, let's do it. You if you hit, you hit pretty hard. Nice! 15! That's beautiful. Can you redeem yourself, Shin? No, you can't. You're not very good at this. That's a lot of melt. For no, re no reason, really. Alright, well... What do we have left? We have sips left. Can you kill it, please? No! <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you people? Ah. Going in for the kill. Double time. I've got a visual. No! <laughs> Uh, 
Oh god. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I'll take this one out. Oh, don't really need headshot actually there, so just normal headshot. He's down. Sadly, you can't do anything with the double tap. It's not good. I'm standing right against the mechtoid. Oh god. <gasps> what did you do? Oh my god, he didn't actually shoot. He's probably just gonna shield, I think. No, what? Yeah, yeah, here comes the shield. Very uncool. And Seekers! They're all in one place, god damn it. Suppressed. Perfect. Stop. What the hell, Shin? That's a hundred meld. A hundred meld. Oh my god. <sighs> oh. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Right, um New grenade in there? Actually we have half bad. Pretty good. Through the vis shield, thankfully. Affirmative. <sighs> I can't believe he just died. A hundred meld. I should have taken out the suppressed one. I think uh, so. We can do that though. For Simon. He he just he died. Just just like that. Twice. It's not like I could have given him cover. He's a goddamn mech. This meld is gonna explode. I I've got to. Oh my god! I've got way too many more things to deal with. Okay. Thirty-five. Ah, oh, I'm just gonna grenade the guy. Yeah, I can't even grenade the guy. You know what? Shoot, just shoot. The hope for the best. Oh my god, he hit him. No longer a threat. Thank God. Now, so he's actually gonna handle this pretty well. I don't. He's not actually in Overwatch. I don't think so. I'm rolling. In his face. Uh, he's not gonna kill him, but a lot of damage. Rolling out. And they're still seekers. They're falling back. Are you gonna flank me or no, you're just actually gonna Oh yeah, you're gonna flank. And here comes the seeker, I think. Yep. Where are you? Over there. I can't I, I cannot believe he's dead. I blame you okay, here's the, I blame you. The Watcher, you, right, you, you're the one, you, listening to this, you're the one who kept telling me, oh, you need to make Shin a mech, Shin, Shin and Zip should be mech buddies, yay, so it's all completely your fault, in no way was I responsible, it has nothing to do with me placing him in a bad position, I blame you for this, and I want my mail back, so, if you can post a comment on the Reddit thread of this episode, and give me your meld, please. Uh, at least a hundred. I expect that much. I don't think that's being unfair. I think a hundred is, is exactly what's needed right now.